How do I create a shadow diagram? In order to obtain development approval for a new or altered two-storey building, accurate shadow diagrams must be produced by the building designer or architect to show the proposal does not prevent neighbouring residences from receiving at least three hours of daylight each day. Let's use this house and its neighbouring context to demonstrate how we can create shadow diagrams in ARCHICAD. First we need to change our 3D view to the top view. We'll go View, 3D View Options, 3D Projection Settings. We're currently in Perspective Mode, so let's change this. We're going to choose Top View, and we need to ensure our camera is placed at the bottom of this circle so that our view is in the same orientation as in the plan. Next we need to change the time and the date. We want to change not to a custom angle of the sun but to a particular time. And we're going to change this to 2020, the 21st of June. In Australia that will be the middle of winter or winter solstice. And we want to change this to 3 p.m. Let's press OK. And we will recenter the view in the middle of our window. Now we can create a new 3D document using our current 3D settings. Let's go back to our project map. 3D Documents, right click New 3D Document from 3D. Let's call this Shadow Diagram 3pm Winter. Create. Now let's review these 3D Document settings to make it look the way that we want. Right click, 3D Document Settings. I want to change my colour, my pen colour, to 1 to make it all black. My cut elements, in this case there are no cut elements, so I can just leave it as it is. My uncut elements, I want to be uniform pen colour. The uncut surface pen will be a white colour, so the majority of my drawing is white, whereas the outlines will be black. I don't want vectorial hatching, it will distract from my drawing and I definitely want sun shadows. Let's turn those on with contours. Now my preferred option is this 50%. Again we'll use a black pen, again we'll just use one for now. Let's press OK. Let's save it under 3D Documents. Save Current View and we'll just leave it as the name that it already is. Create. Now that this view is saved we need to go to our layout book. In our layout book I've already created a drawing for the shadow diagrams. And this layout has the 9am and the 12 noon shadow diagrams already created. We could go back to our view map and drag and drop our new shadow diagram onto the page and adjust it accordingly, but we'd need to change some of those settings to match our other views. Another way will be to drag a copy of our saved view. And in this case, in order to fit it on this A1 layout, I've needed to reduce the size of this view by decreasing the magnification to 50%. And so because I've already done this twice, this will automatically create those same settings and it will also give us the title with the same settings as we require. But of course it's the wrong drawing, so how do we update this so it's now showing us the 3pm? Let's right click, link drawing to, scroll to the bottom of our page, and choose the correct saved view that we want to represent. For all this to work as planned, it's essential that we set our project north point the site location, or at least accurate to the city, the date, the time, and remember to account for daylight savings if that applies to you.
Finally, if your project is an alteration and addition, you'll be required to provide shadow diagrams for both the existing and the proposed built form. There is no need to recreate more 3D documents, thankfully. You can use layer combinations to create these extra views. Thank you for liking this tutorial. Please subscribe and click the bell to hear about new tutorials.